that familiar to too many Australians, but the chances are most of us have seen his work. Craig Holmes is the Australian Professional Photographer of the Year. He won the award for four underwater images, including one of our earlier guest, rugby player David Campisi, in an advertising campaign for Speedo swimming costumes. His work's already held in permanent collections at galleries in London and Paris, and Craig Holmes joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning. That's a big rap, isn't it? You've done well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Can you remember your first camera? Yes, I can. It was, was it a box brownie or? Similar. Yeah, my dad gave it to me. It was his, yeah, it was an old rangefinder. And your first, the first picture that ever gained you some recognition? Um, um, yeah, I think it would be the, the um, strippers backstage shot of... Uh, some girls backstage. You didn't <laughs> take that when you were 12 years old. Though. Oh, no, no. Because <laughs> you started, didn't you, around 12? I mean, yeah, that was when you got right. interested in photography. That's right, yeah. At a time when kids are collecting stamps and listening to records and yeah. playing footy and stuff like that, mm. photography attracts you. Why? Oh, I, I think uh, it was the interesting things that were around me. My yeah. family were travelling through, through Australia and my dad gave me his camera and it happened. Tell me, what is it about people like you, professional photographers. I mean, I can look at a vase on a mantelpiece mm -hmm. and I see a vase on a mantelpiece. Mm -hmm. You guys look at a vase on a mantelpiece and you see much more than I do. What is it? What it's, is it in your mind? It's the light. It's the light and the shade. And, and you're, you, you also learn how to put a frame around it so that you can take it out of the content and, and use it how you like. So you see the finished print, if I can call it that, even yeah. before you've taken it. You see the frame, yeah, and the light. And I think that's important. And the focus. Yeah. And, and um, you know, there's various ways. You can also distort things um, with large format cameras. I distort them without <laughs> trying, though. That's my problem. Right. <laughs> Have you shot the perfect print? Do you call them prints, incidentally, or...? Uh, images. Images? Have images. you shot the perfect? Oh, I've tried to. Yeah. Um, I think I always try to, to reach a perfection, a certain standard, mm -hmm. but oh, the, the perfect, no, <laughs> it's important. Tell me about the prints we're looking on screen now, because uh, they're different, aren't they? Yeah, that's, um, yeah, that, that was shot for a and Hotels. So, right. Yeah, um, yeah, they're different, they're all shot in, in water, um, using, using good swimmers and um, But this was a new challenge for you, wasn't it? You seem to keep reaching out for something new. Yeah, um, when things come along and I, I, a new visual comes along, I just grab it and latched onto this. Yeah. This was just um, wild to me. And I couldn't believe it when I first saw it underwater about two years ago. Yeah. And, uh, and, and it really worked for me. Now tell me about the project with, with uh, David Campisi. That, yeah, was, that, that was, was up north? Yes, it was, yeah. yes. Um, that was, uh, I hasten to add, that's not Campo on the screen no. <laughs> now, but we might get to him in a minute. Yeah, there, there he is. is. Um, yeah, that was on, uh, in Lake Mackenzie on Fraser Island. Right. And we shot that during Cyclone Oliver in February. Right. Um, it was for Speedo through an advertising agency, Ogilvy and Mather. Uh, but that took something like, that project spans three days? Uh, well, five days really, five days. And, and one preparation day, and two test days about a week before that. So tell me, I mean, let's reduce this to basics. How many rolls of film uh, do you shoot off to get what? Three or four, maybe half a dozen uh, good yeah. prints? Well, for the campo shots, there were two, one horizontal, one vertical, yeah. and we shot probably about six rolls on that. Was so he a willing subject, incidentally? <laughs> He's probably watching <laughs> he at an airport it. in Brisbane. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Um, he, he was brilliant, very professional, worked very well for me and wouldn't give up until we got the shots. So. Now, it doesn't worry you that your work then becomes commercialised? I mean, Speedo have, have sort of come in now? I think you always have to keep those two running parallel. Right. So you have two parallels, uh, your own artwork and your professional work. Yeah. Is the challenge still there, though, for you with still photography or are you looking ahead now? There are uh, other things you yeah. want to do. Oh, oh yeah. Um, Still photography has been a very safe cocoon for me to grow and mature in. Mm. Uh, and now I'm, I'm confident to lash out into more interesting so things. So what, would uh, you consider cinematography? Yeah, definitely. What, video clips and um, uh, movies? Uh, features, documentaries. I love people. I love shooting people. I guess you'd have to, wouldn't yeah, you? You'd yeah. have to like people to be a success at your... That's right. I, I'm, I'm looking um, commercially at the moment towards advertisements and I'm seeing producers and directors around town at the moment. Good We're stuff. Having great feedback.
Terrific. Yeah. Listen, nice of you to come in. Yeah, Congratulations. Thank, Great yeah. stuff. Thank you very much. Thanks, Greg. Thanks. Craig Holmes, Photographer of the Year. More of today in a moment.